You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Friday, October 14th, 2016, Cycle Day 2. I'm Ryan Schindler. And I'm Alex Raymond. We have a lot of fun stuff to get to, so let's get to it. A representative from Clarion University will be in the College and Career Center on Monday, October 17th at 1.30. If interested, please stop by and sign up. Life Touch will be here on Monday, October 17th for picture retakes. If you missed your first picture day, you should have your picture taken for the yearbook on Monday. A Wolfgang fundraiser has started. All orders are due Monday, October 17th to room 218 or room 811. The sophomore class will have prizes for the top three sellers. The first prize is a $50 sheets card, the second prize is a $25 sheets card, and the third prize is a $15 sheets card. If you do not receive a fundraiser packet, please see Dr. Ward in room 218. The Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, the ASVAB, will be offered at Northeastern on Tuesday, October 25th from 8.30 to 11.30. The ASVAB is a required test that the military branches use to, en to enlist and place recruits in specific careers in the armed services. The ASVAB is also helpful for students who want to learn more about their abilities and interested. The test is free. The ASVAB is open to seniors and juniors. Please sign up if interested by October 17th, which is Monday in the Guidance Department. We're now going to take it down to Mason Blaze and Mason Jones to talk about some Spirit Week next week down in Mr. Zirkel's room. What's up, Mason? Thanks, Alex. I'm sitting here with Maddie, who's going to elaborate more on Spirit Week. So what's going to go down? So next week is the week of homecoming. Um, on Monday, we are going to have America Monday. That's October 17th. Then on Tuesday, we're going to have Tropical Tuesday on the 18th. Wednesday is Pink Out Wednesday, which is the 19th. Thursday is Neon Thursday, that's the 20th, and Friday is Orange and Black Day, the 21st. Now we're going to take it to Sam on how you can purchase your homecoming tickets. Okay, so homecoming tickets are going to be for sale in the cafeteria during lunch, Monday through Friday, and the tickets are going to be $20 each. And remember that if you want to go to homecoming, all of your fines and obligations need to be paid before Friday and also no heels on the gym floor. They need to be taken off before you can enter. And that's everything. All right, guys, you heard it here. You gotta buy your homecoming tickets before Friday if you wanna show up. Thank you, Mason, so much. <laughs> Some of you may think the marching band just plays at football games during halftime. This isn't true. Our own High Street's Emily Dellinger shows, what, shows us what marching band is all about. Northeastern Marching Band is so much more than just playing an instrument while marching to a beat. One thing that almost everyone knows about marching band is that they perform at the varsity football games. Performing our first show was probably one of the most terrifying experiences of my life. I was so nervous, but I knew that I had prepared enough and I was ready to perform. We stayed in time with the music, our lines were straight, we followed the drum major, and we put on a really good show. Even though it may seem like the marching band is just performing at the games, that's not all they do. They participate in many other events, and for some of the freshmen, that's a big difference from middle school marching band. Marching band's like a lot more advanced than what it was last year. They take it a lot more serious. It's a lot more involved. We've practiced a lot more than we would last year. Last year, I know we would practice a couple times going outside and stuff, but this year, it's more advanced. Like we're practicing every week, like every Thursday, we have after school practices. On top of the extra practices, the high school marching band also takes part in band shows and parades. The next band show they perform at is the Dover Band Show, and it occurs on October 29th. They are also playing in the Halloween and Homecoming parades in Manchester and Mount Wolf on the 16th and 19th of October. More parades they are performing in include the Columbia Mardi Gras Parade on October 27th and the Memorial Day Parade later in the school year on May 29th. If you would like to see the band play, come out and support them at any of these events or at the football games. I'm Emily Dellinger, reporting from High Street Media Productions. Just to recap, you guys can come out to the Dover Band Show on October 29th to see the band play, as well as to the Halloween and Homecoming parades on the 16th and 19th of this month. Thank you, Emily. 
and come out and support the band. Now let's throw it over to Emma at Sports. All right, yesterday we had multiple games, so let's check out those scores. Both girls and boys soccer played Spring Grove yesterday. The girls were away and played at 7 o'clock as they played a fantastic game and demolished Spring Grove 3 to nothing. And that earned them the 2016 Division I co-champions with Dallas Town. Amazing job to the girls soccer team as they earned their first banner. The boys were home and played at 7.30. They played an excellent game as well during the night and had a shutout of 2 to nothing. Finally, we had girls volleyball who played last night as they took on West York. They fought for a while, but sadly took a loss with the final score of 3-0. Today and tomorrow, we each have games. Today, we have boys soccer playing Red Lion at home at 4 p.m. Since this is the only game for the day, so there's no excuse for not showing up. Tomorrow, the football team will be away and will be playing William Penn at 12 o'clock. Hopefully, you can come out to watch either sport on each day. Now for a reminder. Rep Sports will be outside the high school cafeteria today during lunch period to take orders for varsity jackets. To place an order, a student must have $100 and a form filled out properly. Forms are available at the athletic office in the ninth grade building. Students do not have to be part of Varsity Club in order to order jackets. If you have any questions, please contact the, co contact the athletic office. All right, now let's take it to lunch. For today's lunch, we're having toasted cheese. Sandwich of the day is fish and cheese or buffalo chicken wrap. And there will be a variety of pizza in the pizza line. Monday's breakfast will be pancakes and sausage on a stick. And Monday's lunch is walkaway taco with Mexican rice. Sandwich of the day is barbecue or turkey club wrap. And there will be garlic French toast pizza in the pizza line. All right, we're going to the promo now. Northeastern's homecoming is coming up and starting on Monday, October 17th, you'll have a chance to show your spirit. Every day, Monday through Friday, there will be a new theme and a new chance to show your Bobcat pride. Every day, High Street will select one student we believe has gone above and beyond with their spirit to be featured in our morning news. Don't miss Murica Monday, Tropical Tuesday, Pink Out Wednesday, Neon Thursday, or the best of all, Orange and Black Friday. Great day, stay classy, Northeastern. <laughs>